Okay, continuing with my research about my potted plants and the reason why they were dying. Here's the major components of the disaster. This miniature evil beings that were eating the rotten surfaces of the plant ended up completely killing it. This is happening to several of my plants and the reason might be the same. Too much water contained in the root made reservoir of mud and water and humidity that rot everything inside the pots and this is what happened this is what the plant looked like on the top it started losing the leaves and today I found the whole plant collapsed again this is the microorganisms the white little lice looking things and here's my fourth plant uh, it was in a very nice container that I thought it was nice but the cone looking container is uh, contributing to the roots meeting in the middle and making a little vase with the same shape as these containers. So make sure you make extra holes that are big, big enough for water to filter even though the surfaces are of the of the roots are blocking the holes so these little ones are blocked easily once uh, the roots get all fiber looking so this is my beloved noni plant that had five stems and i started looking at the the leaves were getting sad like this and then i did everything i put more vitamins and and uh, made extra holes in the container the big kind and they had the same destiny as the other three or four plants that I lost the soil on the sides was normal looking it was filtering etc but inside right under the under the stem was where all the water was being stored and everything was rotting so and I made the mistake of putting some life matter like, like uh, not life matter but peels for the worms but maybe not a good idea anyways make sure that your potted plants have enough drainage and also every few days or every couple weeks come and mix it around make sure that the oxygen gets in the roots because otherwise they will rot and die so this is the root system of my dying plant it has some green on top so I made a mixture of 
um, hydrogen peroxide, a cup of aspirins, some vitamin B1, and some uh, Epsom salt. I'm gonna soak this in for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna repot the plant hoping that with brand new soil too hoping that the plant will come back to life and with these uh, ceramic containers that only have one big central hole I made extra ones for extra drainage and I used this special drill bit for masonry which is pretty effective just make sure that once it gets hot you soak it in water to uh, refresh in the drill bit so anyways I'm hoping to get my noni plant back as well as the other ones that I try to rescue thank you for watching